Hello there, welcome to Fulcrum and the Force. I'm Jim, this is my channel dedicated to everything Star Wars. And we are currently on our push to 2,000 subscribers. So please, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that bell so you never miss a video, and uh, let's check out what we've got going on today. Well, this is a very exciting video because today I'm checking out another replica saber from those fine, fine people over at Padawan Outpost where if you use the code FULCRUM, you can get 5% off your order. Um, this one is, it's a classic. It's a saber that people love. You know what saber it is. You know it from the thumbnail and everything else. I just like to tease these things out a bit. It's just, it's just part of me and my videos and how I do it. Like, like the intro, it's always the same. I always tease these videos, tease what's coming, even though you know what it is. And you're like, shut up, Jim, get to the saber. All right, I will. Jeez, just calm down. It's a classic. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves him. It's the BMF himself, a Mace Windu. And, uh, and this is one of their replica sabers. So this is that next step up from uh, a Mace that you may have checked out before or seen before. This one is, I mean, it's a fingerprint magnet. I'm not going to lie because it's so, so shiny, but it's also delicious i'm gonna i'm gonna use the term delicious look we've got a really nice prominent grip here we've got a full-on sticking out um cover tech wheel which is correct um and the emitter is looking lovely with these gold accents i mean hello look how good it looks look how good it looks we've lost the saber straight away great you'd think i'd charged them before don't bother. Um, it's very, very nice. It is in their replica range, so it's a little bit more expensive, but worth it because of how nicely it is built and how pretty it is. Look at look at the pommel on it. Look, proper pommel, not just like round, like proper tapered out, like maces. Oh, lovely, lovely. This is installed with a two-button profi. And I'm quite excited to show you how the two buttons work on this. But before I do that, I just want to show you the insides. Because this, like their other uh, replica sabers, super easy to access. There you go. You literally just undo that. And inside, you've got your SD card. You've got a kill key and the battery. Super easy to access. Super easy to deal with. I love that. Like, you don't have to go and undo this and undo that, slide this out to access anything. Super easy, so you can go ahead and add anything you want onto this beautiful profi board. Though you might not want to. This is installed with a ton of sound fonts, including loads of really nice ones from Grayscale fonts. But let's put the blade in and have a quick look, and I'll go through a few of the little fancy things. So here we go, my nice 16-inch demo blade. Obviously, you get a bigger one. Um, but... There we go in the classic purple. This saber looks so good in purple. Like, you can see why you pick purple. It's dope. I mean, obviously I'm a big fan of purple, but this is so cool. So the two button on this is actually this one button here, the top and the bottom. Change the sound font, top, turn it on, bottom. Classic grayscale. Oh, that looks quite nice in orange, actually, I'm not gonna lie. Hello, Zuko here. Looks quite nice in blue, not gonna lie. Um, but like I said, if you checked out my previous replica video, you should, you should if you haven't, that was a banger and so is this. Um, there are tons of sound fonts on here. I'm not going to go through them all because half of fun when you get a saber is like searching through and, and checking out all the different sound fonts. But the beauty of this is how easy it is. One click and you're... Like one click and you're into the next sound font and one click and it turns on and turns off. And it Christy. has gesture controls. It's your classic crispy. Um, but super nice, super easy, super good looking. And obviously, if if you're a fan of Mace Windu, this is a great saber to pick up. Um, 
I love it. Like, the gold accents on Mace's Hill just add to it. They just take it to that next level, don't they? And um, this looks really nice. It's really easy to use. Super easy to access. And you know what? Worth every penny, in my opinion. Um, so, I'm going to get closer. It's got all my fingerprints all over it now, so I do apologise, but don't steal my identity or anything from all those. But look how nice it is. You've got the... Oh, look how nice that grip is. Like, you can properly hold this, you know? Ooh. I mean, this is insane. But I love it. So there we go. That's it. I'm going to just remove the blade so we can have another close look at it. Very, very nice hilt from Padawan Outpost. Gesture control is going crazy. There we go. There it is in all its glory. I mean, lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm just going to undo that. Even that, like, you know, sometimes when you undo like metal on metal and it's like, or it feels a bit crunchy. Oh, oh, that's been machined to the next level. I'm just going to go ahead, kill key off, save the battery. That something super cool as well about this um this chassis that's in here um is if you can see that it says "May the Force be with you," and then on the other side it's got a Jedi symbol. Beauty, love it. It's the little touches. Big fan. Um. So that's the Mace Windu from the replica section over at Padawan Outpost. Uh, use code Fulcrum, 5% off. 5% off that too. It's quite a lot. When, when you're getting up there, 5% is quite a lot. Um, that's it for this video. Um, please help me out by subscribing and doing the things. But until next time, don't forget, we are one with the Force, and the Force is with us. <laughs>